We know you've done quite a number of things. You have a genuine interest in Nigerian youth. Um, the Nigerian youth is filled with so many possibilities. In a society where there's technology now, these gentlemen are trying to survive and bring themselves up. What would be your advice for them in terms of entrepreneurship? Given that you, how you succeeded yourself, would like to replicate that. The people listening now would like to know, what would... No, Nigerian youth are in a hurry. They cannot do what I did to succeed. How? Oh. It's true. There's no more patience. There's no youth. There's no reorientation. They need to go back to reorientation. How is that so? Everybody is in a hurry to make money. Do you know how long I've been in business? Hmm. Do you know the patience it takes me to make money? One cover. It's only when you are a trader like me that you will know the value of money. Mm. I play football on the half yard. Mm. I I I was going to help my father to carry out hangers to carry out used clothing in the market, mm. and I still go to school. Mm. Every in the morning, I have to do this. How many of the youth are ready to do it? Anyway, they need reorientation to show positive age of doing hard work, discipline. Because all of them are not no longer interested. If I find myself in anywhere, mm -hmm. I can help. I will re I will redeploy the youth energy, which is what is lacking. It's not totally their fault. It's also the fault of the government who refuse to provide jobs. They go to school. Nobody is giving them job. Their parents manage to pay their school fees. They cannot be able to do anything. So that, that is the issue. The issue is totally of society. It's totally of government. Government have to revise a strategy hmm. where we must have secondary school, have vocational school. Look, we are lacking carpenters, we are lacking bricklayers, we are lacking mechanics, electricians. And we need them. We need them. <laughs> there's, there's a Government continue putting, do you have uh phd in paper administration go to ghana that is not what they're looking for they are looking can you do the job they still do the ceiling they still do the floor tilings and, and all etc so this is the spirit in fact we bring them from there to come this, and do tiling of the, the floor in, the Niger in nigeria i pity our youths because they've gone out of hand they no they, skill. They, they they have not given them uh a child that grew up seeing kidnapping uh, killing. What do you want him to do? Government must run in new programs to reorientate these youth and create basic places to retrain them.